Hello everybody, welcome once again in my channel Learn English with Katy. Today's course is about the use of gerund and infinitive. Let's discover when we can use gerund and when we can use infinitive. Expressions used with gerund. So, after these expressions, we can use gerund. I'm interested in, for example, I'm interested in learning more about Chinese culture. Would you mind? Example. Would you mind opening that window, please? Is worth. Is it worth? Example. If you ask me, Titanic is really worth watching. To be fond of. My daughter is fond of collecting foreign stamps. To be afraid of. She's afraid of going out alone in the dark. Can't help. Can't bear. I can't help listening to classic music. It's boring. Look forward to. We look forward to hearing back from you in your next letter. Be used to. I'm not used to drinking coffee in the evening. I feel like. I don't feel like doing anything today. I'm tired and I feel sleepy. I'm tired of. I'm tired of reviewing all these math lessons over and over. Can't start, can't resist. Verbs used with gerund only. With these verbs, we use just gerund. Admit. For example, the thief admitted stealing the money from the old lady. Denny. He immediately denied killing his wife. Appreciate. I don't really appreciate watching cartoons these days. Avoid. The best thing for you is to avoid smoking. Consider. Let's consider changing all the bad habits. Discuss. The teacher and his students discuss cheating and adds after maths. Enjoy. We totally enjoyed watching all those green movies all night long. Finish. I haven't finished reading that book yet. Forgive. Would you please forgive my coming late? Imagine. She can't imagine living far away from her family. Miss. I miss talking to my parents on the phone. It's been a long time. Let's practice writing narrative paragraphs. Practice. Permit allow. Our English teacher permits using dictionaries during the exam. Forbid. Islam strictly forbids drinking alcohol and eating pork. Advice. I advise using this method for better results. Think about. She's thinking about leaving the country for good. Apologize for. The student apologized for coming late to the class again. Verbs used with gerund and infinitive. With these verbs, we can use gerund or infinitive. There's no problem. So the first verb is try, try and attempt. For example, he tried rescuing her but failed, or he tried to rescue her but failed. Bother. For example, she didn't bother locking the door, or she didn't bother to ask why. Stop. He stopped smoking years ago. Or, he ceased to smoke years ago. Continue. Please continue reading. Or, please continue to read. Suggest. I suggest using the other computer. Or, I suggest to use the other one. Intend. 
I intend going on a business trip or I intend to go on a business trip. Hate, detest. I hate to wake up early on Sundays or I detest waking up early. Forget. She forgot bringing her textbook or she forgot to bring her textbook. Remember. He remembered he's not closing the door or he remembered to close it. Like. They don't like swimming in cold water or they like to swim in rivers. Love. She loves listening to Indian music or I would love to visit that city again. Afford. His poor father can't afford buying a car or he can't afford to buy a car. Begin. You should begin to prepare for exams or you should begin preparing for exams. Star. We use infinitive with these words. What? She's not sure what to wear for the party. How? My grandma didn't know how to turn off the TV set. Easy. It's not easy to learn a new language when you are old. Difficult. It becomes difficult to learn a new language as you get older. Hard. I know it will be hard to solve all these math problems in one hour. Good. It's a good thing to start learning languages at an early age. Important. It's very important to use a dictionary while you're learning a new language. Necessary. She thinks it's not necessary to buy a brand new phone. Impossible. It's impossible to know what will happen in the future. Right. It's not right to lie, but sometimes you just have to. Wrong. It's wrong to judge people based on their looks. Wise. It will be wise to read your country's constitution to be aware of your rights. Happy. We're very happy to be here with you all. Ready. He thinks he's ready to start a new chapter in his life. Proud. Father, I'm really proud to be your daughter. Rude. It's rude to make fun of your elders. Verbs used with infinitive only. Want. I want to watch that game one more time, please. Decide. They decided to build a new school for girls only. Promise. I promise to call you back as soon as I get home. Agree. They both agreed not to talk over each other during the debate. Pretend. He pretends to be happy, although he's a very sad person at heart. Hope. I have to see you again. Use gerund after this preposition. For You should apologize for coming late to class. At I don't think he's any good at making friends. Before Please have a drink before leaving. In How can I succeed in studying physics? On We need to keep on going. Without You can't learn a language without making mistakes. Why? We can improve our lives by using technology. After. I'll meet you at the bus station after taking a shower. Thank you guys for watching. See you at the next video. Goodbye.